Alright yo, so today I'm gonna be plasti dipping my rims but adding this metalizer on it. And I don't know if you see it on camera, but it's pretty cool, pretty sparkly. I think it'll turn out really well. So yeah, let's get started. Now it's very important that you do all the prep work and do it right so you don't have any overspray. It'll save you a lot of time and effort. So as you can see, I got my cans, I got this cardboard here to just put on the driveway so there's no overspray on it. Trash bags put on your brakes and then just masking paper pretty much. First you're going to grab the trash bag and if you can see on each side there's a little um, like a little tab you're just going to pull it until it breaks like that and rip it down the seam. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and put this through your rim. Thank God that I have a five spoke so it's pretty easy, some rims are kind of difficult. Which just makes taking it off a lot harder. I'm just gonna thread it through. Make sure you're covering your brake caliper, your rotor, everything that you don't want to get overspray on. All right, once you have all your brake calipers and rotors masked off, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and clean your rim one more time with the microfiber towel. I already washed my car down, cleaned my rims pretty thoroughly, but I'm gonna go ahead, get a microfiber towel, just get any other dirt off real quick, and we can get started. Now before you start, I want to add that if you live in a colder place, like, or it's not too hot, you want to put your plastic dip in some warm water. I just have it in a bucket of warm water because I'm in the SoCal and it's like 69, 70 degrees here. So just to ensure the plastic dip comes out evenly. Now that we have a brake caliper and rotors off, I'm going to go ahead and mask the, the body. Masked off. Go ahead and shake your plastic it. Shake it really well. It should be warm. And I actually went ahead and masked off my uh, valve caps too. I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. I'm gonna keep spraying. A first coat you just want to do 50/50 transparency, so pretty light coat. You're gonna repeat that on each side. Okay, so after about 15 minutes of letting it dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add the second coat. And this one you wanna layer it a little bit more thick, so you're getting the full coverage of the rim. Okay, 
Okay, so just finished up my second coat. As you can see, it's starting to turn black. You can see the layers there are really nice, but you can still see some silver spots, some spots I didn't get all the way, but it's okay, it's only your second coat. After you have about four coats on there, you're going to want to roll the car back a little bit just so you can get all the spots that you missed and keep doing coats. I'm going to probably do five or six coats just to be safe, so let's go. Go ahead and use your you should be on your third can about do your fourth or fifth coat and make sure you cover all the areas pretty quick. all right after about five coats you already know it's about that time I'm about to add this metalizer on it give it a little bit of a sparkle a little bit more of a professional look and I guess we should see how this goes I'm probably gonna only add one to three coats because I'm not trying to get it too grayish see the sparkles in the sun looks pretty good all right we'll let they dry So just finished my last coat of Glossifier. I didn't film it because it's the same process as you would with Plasti Dip. You just put it on pretty thick to get it really glossy. And so basically I got two coats of the meta Metalizer and two coats of the Glossifier. And that's what it looks like. Really only sparkles in the sun, which is really nice. That black gray kind of feel. I really like it. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and start de-wrapping everything. reason that it's it's good to add thicker coats and I'll show you why because then it'll just easily get 
grab like that, easily just come off just like that. You got a full ring. You don't have to sit there, pick at it, and scrape, but there's obviously gonna be some excess left over. You can just get that with your hand or whatever. It'll come off while you're driving too, but it's that simple. All right, guys, so that's how you plastic up your rims with the gray kind of graphite metalizer. Looks pretty good, I like it a lot. Definitely looks more aggressive, so I'll probably keep it on for a couple months, see how, how it lasts, then do an update video. But if you, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.